Hold on. Welcome to Library, the Liverpool Daily Post of Echoes online literature festival. I'm Laura Davis, and here with me today is the Liverpool playwright and author, Willie Russell. Hello, Willie. How are Hi. you? I'm good. Good. Nice to be here. Good. I want to go right back to the very beginning, if you don't mind. Do you remember when you first started to write? Uh, the reason I'm thinking about it is I usually just automatically say to that question, yes, when I was 14, uh, it was when I first realised I wanted to write. Um, but in truth, I think I first wrote, um, I must have been six or seven and I was at Nosley Maypole Primary School, and um, i just started to read. And it seems that when I discovered how to read, I understood something about writing. I understood that these things were, that I was reading were called stories, probably mostly Enid Blyton and stuff like that, you know. Oh. Um, but when it came to us in the classroom having to write a story... I remember understanding and knowing what it was to write a story. I remember going out of my way to write a story that would entertain and and grip the other kids in the class. So did you grow up with stories at home? Uh, Yeah. uh, My father, um, uh, for a while, he'd been been, uh, um, an insurance salesman for a while, so he'd been used to going around to houses and that. And um, one day, as he was pedalling along on his bike, he discovered a whole load of discarded books somewhere. And so, always somebody searching for a scheme to make himself a millionaire, he bought a couple of old suitcases, strapped them to the sides of this uh, bicycle that he had, gave up the insurance round and became a travelling librarian, an independent commercial travelling librarian. He used to cycle around... uh, Prescott and St. Helens and Whiston, lending out um, books for a penny per book per week. I think after about 12 months of lugging these books around, he kind of did the maths and worked out that he wasn't going to become a millionaire from his his, his librarian uh, endeavours. And and also, my mother told me stories. I remember her telling me stories and uh, and loving the fact of, of being with her and being told stories. And she used to make stories up as well. And she used to write um, bits of um, uh, verse, probably thought of today as kind of terribly sentimental uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, birthday card verse. It was that kind of stuff. But uh, regardless of what might be seen as its kind of quality, words were being used and stories were being told. That was a natural part of growing up for, for me. Do you think that's particular to your sort of childhood, your background? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I mean, uh, 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 judging, when I go now into the bookshop to buy books for my grandchildren, uh, when I buy books for the girls, I mean, I'm staggered at the riches that are on offer. There certainly weren't that amount of books available uh, for kids when I, when I was growing up, and maybe we had to use our resources, or the parents had to use their resources a bit more uh, and make, make stories up. So maybe it was unique in that kind of way. But um, I, I don't think the, the form matters. The fact that there are, you know, the, 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 if, if the stories are coming out of the teller's head or the stories are, are being told from the book that's open on the teller's lap, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, I just had a different version of it, I guess. 